What's up everybody? It's Robin here. Once again, we're continuing on with our um, St. Patrick's Day week theme. Okay, so St. Patrick's Day is Thursday, March 17th. Your reading is for Wednesday, March 16th, and I will be using the Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition to do your reading. And the focal question today is how do you feel luck? Okay, so we looked at luck in the mind and luck outside of yourself. And today is like about your body. How do you feel luck? Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's start shuffling the deck a little bit better. I think this is going to be really interesting for some of you. And I'm just going to start off by saying that um, there's a, a, a way that we can describe energy to ourselves. And sometimes people don't understand that the energy of excitement and the energy of fear feel the same in the body, okay? So how can you tap into your feelings about luck? And let's have some cards here for that. Luck in the body. How do you feel about luck? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Two of wands. Well, it's like kind of a meh. I'm not really sure, okay? I could, uh, it depends on the day. This is just like torn. Like it's absolutely got no clue so <clears throat> I am seeing here where you really need to spend some time understanding the signals that your body is giving you and then kind of training your brain okay so there are people okay so really take this into consideration people that are going up on stage to sing or you know they're stepping out in front of a stadium to play the Super Bowl or something like that everybody feels nerves okay everybody feels that that mounting sort of anxiety and the heart palpitations so <clears throat> your mind can interpret it and say oh I'm really afraid right now or it can interpret it and say I'm really excited right now. I'm going to slay this performance. I'm going to like kick the competition's butt up and down the field. But if your mind isn't strong enough to tell your body what is going on, that adrenaline can just kind of overtake you and then your mind gets swept away in that too. Okay, so this card is telling me that there's kind of a little bit out of touch of what is going on in your body. Um, so maybe start really paying attention to stuff like that, you guys. Like, are you excited or are you afraid? And can you manage your body emotion code in a bit of a better way, okay? By training your brain to control the master of your body. I'm not sure if that came out right, but that was what I was getting. So luck in the body. Let's have another card here for you guys. <clears throat> got the seven of cups okay so this is kind of a, a weird combination it, it's like it's like we've been programmed to think well you know if I don't get this opportunity if I screw this up or you know there's gonna be something right around the corner it's gonna happen again the seven of cups it's like looking at too many options instead of like really concentrating the body and getting prepared to do something right the first time, okay? Because sometimes there is no do-over. And sometimes if you flop really badly, your audience won't watch you anymore. Um, so there is this sort of, I'm getting this nasty word, like an entitlement. Okay, so this is, this is getting dark right away. So it's just like this, there's no kind of connection from the mind and body okay and the body is kind of like well I'll get to that later okay so there is some sort of a detachment and I think that meditation could probably help to really tune you in or you guys maybe want to check out the HZ frequency for luck because that could really start tapping into your body and your energy body okay so one card fell out here man you guys okay so 
we've got the wheel of fortune okay so the wheel can go back or the wheel can go forward and this is going to rely a lot on how you're interpreting your body messages and i am seeing that there is a wide gap between what is actually happening and how it's being interpreted that's going to be a little bit of a homework assignment for you so when the wheel comes up this is a reminder that you guys are in charge of what happens next in your life but if you're feeling like well i could do this or i could not do this or i'm afraid or i'm excited but i'm not really sure um but maybe i'll just let it pass and do nothing about it okay so this is a very complex reading i'm just being guided to pull one more card here for you guys this is where these like master classes can come in or you start listening to things that you just don't normally do like those hc frequencies that i was talking about because you could have absorbed um this behavior from watching other people you know okay so we do have the nine of swords and there's quite a bit of worry um going along with this too that could be the fear of their performance the feel fear of failure the fear of rejection, okay? So it does look um, like the luck in your body and how you feel about it is being controlled by some sort of um, story that your mind is telling you and the communication gap between emotion and brain, okay? So, whew, wow. Anyway, bye guys. <laughs>